So where does this leave us, man? Because I was like, I was daydreaming about five hundred extra dollars. Our next two rounds of golf are going to be a little bit more expensive, um, but we're good. I was actually starting to scroll Airbnb. It's pretty cheap. It's like sixty-five dollars. Uh, we're going to talk about it a night. I just went ahead and did it. We actually booked an Airbnb. This is where we are right now. It looks like a big brownstone, which I know. I know people call you the big brownstone, so I thought you'd like that. Hi, sir. But you know what's cool? The owners uh, live on the top floor. This is a basement floor Airbnb, and in the middle is an art gallery. My name's uh, Scott Philip Gergens, and uh, I am a full-time artist. What part of town are we in? Can you this is Mount Vernon. Yeah, we're kind of the uh, cultural district of the city. Have you talked to the guy? Well, I just traded an email with him. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That I told like... him we're, I told him we're artists. I think so. We met Scott, who is one of the owners, and he also runs an art gallery on the floor above us. The gallery uh, came about because we had the free space, and uh, we wanted to. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, just highlight artists, uh, specifically local artists. Then the floor above that is his uh, his studio. He's an artist. He paints monsters. Something I know you know a little bit about. I, I kind of think that they're like just like generally the 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 personality that's misunderstood. It was cool. Yeah. I mean, it was <laughs> it's kind of trippy. And the... It's like a good cityscape, like yeah. just standard cityscape, and then there's just like these creations from his mind. But then he writes short stories around these characters that he creates. Their design is to kind of um, try to promote uh, positive energy. Draw the hearts in the bigger monster. They're good. Combative. They're both They're good. good. They're both good. Okay. Yeah, so. I wanted to do something more of like a love letter to Baltimore with my art. Uh, so I think a lot of people come into cities and explore cities and, and then maybe sometimes want to take something that reminds them of the city away with them. And then you, you kind of find that, you know, if you're looking for something, it's kind of tourist art. So I wanted to kind of do something and, and paint things that I like about Baltimore and, uh, and then put monsters in them because I like monsters. And, and I kind of feel like I haven't come across anybody that's seen my art that can't say, this is Baltimore, because <laughs> there's monsters everywhere. A real taste of the Himalayas. The Himalaya. What is what is the guy in Scotland say? Himalayas. Himalayas. Excuse me. The Himalayas. We spent $155.95 today. Do so, that for another two days and we'll get in under budget. And tomorrow's golf is what? Uh, I gotta check for sure. I think it's gonna be somewhere in that like 35 to 38 range. But we can win some of that back if we play well. We can. But 156 on day one is good. I mean, that gives us a little wiggle room. Right? Yeah. That's a good pace. Yeah. So we got one of the best things about staying at this particular Airbnb is, he left us some goodies. Cake cookie. Some caramels. This is called a mouth party. And this nice bottle of uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Which, oh, Negro. You gotta hit me up. Hit me up. I, think, uh, I think the kids all learned a little bit. I think they all learned a little poor tonight. To you, brother. To you. Thanks for having my back. <laughs> Check it out, he's got one of those breathe right strips on, so he doesn't saw logs. It actually it, helped, right? Did it work? A little bit. He didn't sound like he was a sleep apnea monster. Sometimes Randy goes like, it's like, and it's like, he breaks through, it's like, <laughs> and then he starts over again, just like. <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, trying to iterate though and experiment a little bit. That's very disruptive. That is, the, the, <laughs> it's disruptive. <laughs> Uncle Aaron would be really, really proud of you.
All right, let's fuck them up today in the money round, should we? I think so. Come I think on. we should do that. Let's do yeah, that. Let's do that. When we walked in, he showed us the Airbnb. I said, do you have any? He said he has some DVDs over there. And I was like, do you have any CDs? Because the shitty Dodge minivan doesn't have an aux cord or any CDs for us to listen to. We can't buy any. Who is this? They're called Red the Sever. It's friends of mine. They're, they're band. They're kind of uh, inspired by uh, pop, but also goth rock. Name of the album is Attack with an exclamation point, and it's a shark. It's like the massive great white shark on the cover, so I think it's gonna get us jacked up for the money round tomorrow. Yeah. How do you think this is gonna make me feel? Like, um, excited? Or? Excited, pumped up. Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah. we don't want you yeah. too pumped up. No. Shot like you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That's, that's what I'm about to do today. I'm gonna attack yeah. this golf course. Yeah, you, that's what I'm thinking, like a golf and attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Yeah. All right, thank you. You think this is gonna help you attack today? It can only help. I think. Just lose control of your senses. You might as well just drop your defenses. Dance like a fool that studies karate. Then release the tension from your body. We have a plan of mass corruption. And by following all simple instructions, it will guide you to a path of recovery. Randy, where are we playing today? Rocky Point. It's a Baltimore County course. It's supposed to have some lovely views of the bay. I believe the Chesapeake. And here we are. We're running late, baby. We got a Sherpa today. What's up, pal? Good morning! Rocky Point, the uh, the Chesapeake Bay French Riviera. 34 bucks to walk here. Uh, uh, some chances of taking it low. I heard there was some taking it low yesterday, so I hope we can keep that. It's uh, not, not low enough. Keep that momentum going. So with a slope rating of 123, my 10 index becomes a course handicap 11. My associate, whose index was what? 4.8? 4.8. Rounds up to a 5. So, 16. 16 total. $112. are gone. We lost it. It's, a, it's, a, it's gone. But it's out but there for us to get. We can find it. Okay. Time to go find it. Okay. Alright. Oh! oh, oh. Get on the green! Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Expect anything else? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, go. Hey. All right, hey, there's three dollars, huh? Like, that's a comfy five on the opening hole. <laughs> it was a delightful day. You said it best. I mean, what else do you want from a municipal golf course? It's well conditioned. I don't. I didn't have a bad lie all day. Thirty-five bucks, you get some, you know, some low country views. Would you call this a low country? Yeah, there were some shaded areas with the breeze going that was divine. Yeah, the front nine's kind of benign. It's it's a nice, nice walk. It's it's not bad. But then I God, had, that I, had uh, I said to you on six. I got poor man Adair Manor vibes with that river going through. You know. You did tell me that. I did yes. say that. Sorry, what you're saying. Sorry, I cut you off. Um, I'll give you the last word. <laughs> Thank you. for the first birdie of the day. Hey! Good bird, Good bird partner. We're on the board. Board! 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 It is very classy for you to go for. Stayed at the turn. Yeah. Neil shot 40, five over. Shot 43, eight over, 22 points. We had 24. We had 24. 21, 22, 24. My fault. Trust but verify. Don't um, cheat yourself, brother. You so 24, 24 points puts oh. us. Oh, I'm projected 
eight points, six, sixteen dollars below, below pace. So, but we gotta get fifty six. Yeah. Okay. How did KVV play? I got KVV for thirty six. Whoa! Ooh, sneaky. Could there be a new Icarito near the bay? So it's contained. Quick subject change. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you've all seen the wire. Uh, beginning of every wire season starts with uh, a scene that sort of reflects a larger theme of the, uh, the entire year. So at the end of season one, if you remember, McNulty says, uh, you know, I, I know I effed up, but I don't want to, I'll just, I'll go anywhere as long as it's not the boat. And of course, at the beginning of the season, uh, season two, he's on the boat and he uh, rolls up here. So that, that scene is out, is depicted out here in the uh, sort of lows and Chesapeake. And the idea, they roll up on a party, a bunch of drunken sort of rich people passed out. Drink? No, thanks. <laughs> The captain? Yeah. Harbor master? No, city police. The larger metaphor of the things is that the, the sort of the rich have used uh, the sort of Maryland and the Chesapeake as their playground to sort of desecrate, and it's up to the working class to sort of clean up the mess. So as we play the back nine, we'll decide which scenario, which part of that side we're on, whether we're the working class or the rich, to desecrate the <laughs> sort of the waters of the Chesapeake. I think you know where we stand. I think you know where the strap is. <laughs> yep. Beauty! Laced it! And then you make the turn, going out 10, you get your first real view of the uh, the big bay, and um, it stays with you. The 11th, which is, many have said, is the East Coast Pebble, the 6th at Pebble. Um, I don't normally... 7th. The 7th. 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 Listen, Icarita regrets the air. But I don't normally fall for the, the postcard, but that for, you know, I like the, the downhill tee shot. The view is great. I like the way the bunkers framed it. Big Randall for birdie! Way to go, Randy, you made one! <laughs> Overall, I think we're, we're kind of right on right pace. On pace. Yeah. Yeah, fighting, yeah, yeah, we're fighting. I'm I was just, gonna say, I'm I think- I'm fighting the right miss too. I just, can't get my ball to. Well, I was gonna say, turning. you know, like fourth or fifth hole, I was just like, oh my god, I want to get to the bottom of the roller coaster. And now I feel like I'm, I'm like great, I'm. You're I vibing. Told you I'd be on the back and, nine. But I feel like we flipped a little. Yeah, no shot. Nothing. Nothing. What are you gonna do? Are you coming out this way? No, I'm gonna go back to the green. Oh. Cut a little and be good. I feel like this uh, this embodies the strap ethos, you know. We're uh, we're on the water, but it's not like there's uh, big mansions out here. Uh, and uh, this course is it's packed every day. You know, there's uh, I think it's it's what mini golf basically should be like: play fast, find your ball. I don't think anybody lost the ball. I did one ball club today, which yeah. is huge. So it's huge. Uh, it's pretty great. We got a chance to. Tell some stories, some wire stories, uh, yeah. which is always good uh, Baltimore tourism uh, bonus there. Really good. Good job, Big Nutty. Artis! Did you make a five work or the three? Three. I've been having issues. My my four iron has this thing was off. Feral, yeah. So it was like kind of, it was distracting. Yeah. And so I made an executive decision late last night to just take my four iron out and just put my three iron in. So you don't have a four so iron? So I don't have a four iron. So you go from three to five? Yeah, but I think I can get crafty and be an Artis, like, Mr. Yeah. Pie. Huh? That was an artisanal cheese and charcuterie place. Neil, Neil learned the magic of choking down on a golf club. Neil for birdie. Oh, you hate to see it. The jumbo bird. Now KVV for the jumbo bird. Stay up. Oh! Yeah. How about that? Bring on the freaking <laughs> pancakes, KVV. That's pretty oh, fun. Be more on Boy flying close to the sun. KVV, it's, I gotta uh, ask, have you seen the show before? Yeah, I'm a little aware of the show. Yeah, I'm vaguely aware. Uh, how many times have you shot under par? I uh, never. Never yeah, shot never. under par. <laughs> yeah, hey, so. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, KVV so. is one over with three to play yeah, and a reachable par five. Yeah, spirit of Gary player with me. So, uh, this is absolutely incredible. As you can see, I've been doing push ups all, all year for this moment. So, this all is right, huge. Let's Good launch him. Good morning, em. Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. <laughs> We have a 
Two consecutive eagles and to get him to one under par. A little stubby, maybe. Runs out. So he's gonna have a good look at Birdie. Thank you for Birdie at 16. Randy, bring the pain. Give it to me. Chocolate shit, baby. Two birdies! Two birdies! Yes! Eight pointers! If you eat the birdie at 16, you get him. Oh! And he's done it! He's gonna have to birdie one of the last two! <laughs> Oh, right, so it's gonna be in the right side of the fairway. Folks, off in the distance, you see KVV. He's got about 206. There it comes. Maybe if I go back on the chip on 17, I would uh, I'd take uh, take sand wedge 56 and just try to hit it up on the hill, let it come down as opposed to pitching wedge and kind of try to chase it back there. I was trying to take the nerves out of it. Lie wasn't wasn't amazing. Yeah. Come on. Drop. Oh, good oh, speed. Great putt. With the bogey there, the boys have hit the quota. Up, boys. Anything else is gravy. Uh, what was that, $112? Yeah. We just, got, we just found on the course. If KVV holds this, we've got a guest mega bonus. That doesn't look like <laughs> it's going to drop straight down. I mean, it's uh, it's intense. You know, you you got to bring, uh, you know, in my case, there there's probably is no A game, so you, you got to be your, your B game. I, I have a pretty skanky, quick-tempoed, ugly swing, but uh, you know, today sometimes it just uh, it got it around. So sometimes that, uh, it appears, man. Like when you went eagle birdie, you're just like, oh my god, it's it's here. It, it's yeah. just. Randy Slim Charles landed. Slim. Comfy four to finish. Hey, we found eight dollars. The boys are eight dollars above the quota. Here's the boys. Ah. <laughs> KVV, his eagle bid. Found the tree. He wedged it to here from 87 yards. This for par. He's and, it, and it's around Donald, a 73 a for KVV. Donald, that's a good way to finish it. That was a pleasure watching you play. Thanks, guys. Great hey, plan. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for thanks for showing me that we can all fly high. DJ is always, man. Hey, always Great fun. playing with you. God, I was rooting for you there on 17. As they say, the king, stay the king. <laughs> and, uh, that's Yo, how we KBV do. Was, was bidden to be Marlo there. <laughs> he was coming for the crown. What's my name? I, I would just like to say, you know, thank you for uh, for lifting me up. This is the lowest round I've ever shot in my life. Really? Uh, yeah, 73. Holy yeah, cow. What a thrill. 70, 75 God, awesome. was my previous best. Yeah. You gotta walk through that door, though. We're gonna get there one day. We're gonna walk through what it. it. Yeah, good news. Talk to me. What's up? In honor of KVV's great round, the C-Suite has said, why don't you buy the boys a beer on us? <laughs> really? Domestic, non-craft. <laughs> so that's why, that's why I got these. Oh, fuck those guys, man. <laughs> well, thanks. So thanks, KVV. Thanks. Well done. Hey, thank you, KBV. Hey, hey uh, anytime I can stick the C-suite with a bill, I'm yeah. happy to do so. <laughs> we got two things of peanut butter crackers and a protein bar at the turn, which was $3.50.
very well priced. Good value. Um, I'm putting on another night of our Airbnb at $44. Okay. And I still got the leftovers from the <laughs> so I'm hungry. I'd love to go get lunch. We got time to get lunch, and then I think maybe um, we maybe we do we some proper crabs this evening. I think so. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get to uh, do it upright at the house. We'll probably uh, get them steamed up and have some natty bows and uh, yes, yeah, listen to some natty old time rock and roll. <laughs> Is there a place to get cheap crabs? Uh, it's about as cheap as we can get. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I got us some places in mind. I know where you could get cheap crabs. Ho! Oh, <laughs> come on, that's a come on. that's a bad joke. Down come on, North Avenue. Come on. Oh, not I saw you that. scrolling last night. You were swiping hard body oh, before you went to bed. Yeah, so this pill, right, 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 right. You're, right, you're right, flat right, out right. lying right now. Where's this coming from? Uh, we got some things we got to talk about <laughs> offline. Yeah, apparently. Unbelievable. But we want eight bucks. We want eight. The kids yeah. want eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a criminal, feel like a castaway. This world keeps changing and I can't keep the pace. Yeah, having a real Maryland evening, got some natty bows. We're gonna, we got some burger cookies. So uh, you know, if anybody out there in a the refuge wants to check my Maryland bona fides, uh, <laughs> just go ahead and just see this meal for real and take a shape. Tell the truth and just be you. Oh yeah, all right. Trying to make sense of it all tonight Oh no, here we go This won't be the last time Shouting and struggling And feeling like you're nothing Trying not to give in Alright, so what is this? Uh, this is our sort of local beer. Uh, think of it in terms of like the old style of Baltimore. Uh, baby. If you're like not a snob, you go to a baseball game, this is where you're sure. Damn right I am. God, that's oh, a cold, cold natty bow. Oh yeah. All right. What's the obsession with old day around here? It's everywhere. It's kind of a Maryland thing, right? They put it. They put it in beer. They put it on chicken. Put it on fries. 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 Trying to make sense of it all tonight. Oh no. So was that your idea with the handles? I can't even think. Yeah, I saw it on Pinterest. Really? That's a great idea. The promises you made and you got betrayed and all the things that you still don't know at the end of the day Oh yeah